All right, so as you see, I put some stuff in the van last night just to kind of lay out. The, ba the battery ran out, by the way, so you didn't see the end of the installation, but I just wanted to see some layout and things and uh, what's up. But today is the big day where I'm going to try and put some windows in the van. So I'm going for this door, the near side back door. I'm not going to worry about this one because it's going to have a door ladder on to get to the roof right. And then the sliding door. So, um, never done it before. I have really got a clue what I'm doing, but we're going to give it a shot. So, here it goes. I'm going to... I'm going to try doing it with some really fine um, disc blades for, for a, uh, an angle grinder, a disc cutter. Um, I feel that at my best. I've got some reciprocating saw blades, some fine ones and a reciprocating saw too if I need it. So we'll see. We'll see what works best. Um, so, I've got window trim. That window is the entire square section of the back, so it's completely cover this, right? Obviously you can't cut out this, so you cut out from here. But I'm going to cut out on that side to here, because then I can put the window trim on this bit, because that side isn't going to be interfering with it. Do you know what I mean? So if I cut it to exactly this, I've got two panels that I need to put this trim on. And I think it's going to be a nightmare trying to get that over two panels. So would that be right, yeah? From the outside, cut through. Because they, they are different windows. Or is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. You can see there, actually. It's bonded, though. So if I did that, I'd be screwed. So I'm going to have to cut exactly this. That's fine. Yeah, so because if I cut a bit too far off, it would just be crap. I just do that and I'll cut down that exactly. I'm going to use um, It's going to be easier to simple this sort of thing because I can just get on the ladder and I can just zip along. It's not really thick either, is it? No, not very so i got to talk to the camera now because i realised that I've got an issue. So I can't go outside that because they actually the, the two panels are uh, bonded together. So I'm going to go the exact line. So what I've just drawn. So. My face is probably so close to the camera now. <laughs> um. After all this, why don't I just trace the inside of the van with the angle grinder? Like I've gone to all that effort and there's a line I can trace here. Maybe. No. I'm going to try from the inside. I can see more clearly. I think. Come with me. Warm! smell as the masking tape but not me. And I've got a couple in my hair. Oh, that needs a lot of cleaning up because it was a messy, messy cut. I'm going for it. I'm cutting the side door. Uh, the more expensive one to replace if I mess it up. The other one went okay. You know, it wasn't as tidy as I'd like, but let's go for it and I'll do both windows at the same time. I had to 
the rush off. Got a bad ear. I was trying to adjust the guard while the angle grinder was running and just uh, took a slice out of my finger. I think it's okay. Um, I'll find out soon enough. Well, this is hard work. Uh, corners suck uh, with the angle grinder because it's a bit too big and it keeps nicking the inside. So it's going to be a lot of tidying up to do. But as you can see, it's just the centre beam, the support to stop the window from rattling. That's got to come out. So I'm going to draw some lines and do that. Uh, I'll switch it back on once I've got yeah. Cut, filed, uh, cleaned up a bit now. I need to clean it all up before I flip the windows. It's starting to rain, which is unbelievable. This is the weather forecast was fine for the day. But it is what it is. I might have to cover it up and sort it out later. Okay, so I painted around the, um, around the filed edges with some hammerite paint uh, and let it dry. So now I'm going to put on the window trim um, around the outside. So. Snug as a bug in a rug. Yeah, it's a glass activator. So I degreased the the outside of the door there. I'm also going to give it a bit of a sand. Where I'm going to bond, even though I'm going to prime it. I've got a primer that I'm going to apply to both the glass and the door where it's going to go on. This little bud. Gotta let that dry, then it's time for the adhesive. Get her on there. That's it. I don't think I got it perfect. There's a little bit of polyurethane on the inside there, which I just wiped right, but it looks like it's made a good seal. So uh, it's gonna stick, it's gonna seal. Scary, but good job.